BBC's latest documentary on Prime Minister Narendra Modi is a well-timed propaganda machinery with an extremely biased narrative and preconceived conclusion just to spoil the image of current government and to influence the upcoming 2024 Lok Sabha election. The only problem is it is pathetically weak, redundant and of poorest possible quality. BBC की ये डॉक्यूमेंट्री 2002 में हुए गुजरात दंगों पे बेस्ड है लेकिन BBC का मेन मोटो सिर्फ और सिर्फ नरेंद्र मोदी के इमेज को स्पॉइल करने का है बट इन रियालिटी दे आर इंसल्टिंग द होल डेमोक्रेटिक अरेंजमेंट एंड जुडिशरी सिस्टम ऑफ इंडिया क्योंकि इंडिया के हर एक कोर्ट ने इंक्लूडिंग सुप्रीम कोर्ट ऑफ इंडिया नरेंद्र मोदी को इस केस में क्लिनचिट दे चुकी है बट BBC ने अपनी डॉक्यूमेंट्री में इस फैक्ट को कंप्लीटली इग्नोर किया है BBC ने अपने सो कॉल्ड इन्वेस्टिगेटिव डॉक्यूमेंट्री में इंडियन कोर्ट और एस के फाइंडिंग्स और इन्वेस्टिगेशन का कोई रेफरेंस नहीं लिया है डॉक्यूमेंट्री के फर्स्ट पार्ट में यूके के फॉर्मर फॉरेन सेक्रेटरी जैक स्ट्रॉ ये बताते हुए नजर आ रहे हैं कि उन्होंने यूके की एक इंटरनल रिपोर्ट को एज ए सोर्स लिया है so basically they ignored all the investigations and findings of indian agencies and court simply because they found their internal report much superior now this reflects the colonial hangover they still think they are ruling the world and it is them who will decide what is fact and what is not even in the internal matter of any country depending upon what kind of narrative they want to build but fortunately This is not the reality. Can you explain more? What, who is perpetuating this false propaganda? That the information I'm reporting is taken from what I have seen with my own eyes, both Those at the time to the right and now. Those were our opponents. And the independent reports that have already been published into what has happened. They have no right to talk about the internal matter of any government. I'm very, very clear in my mind. If they have done, they have done wrong. By the way, Jack Straw is the same guy who made up the lie about the weapon of mass destruction in Iraq. और उसके बाद इराक में क्या हुआ ये हम सभी जानते हैं सो बेसिकली जैक स्ट्रॉ इज द मास्टर माइंड बिहाइंड द इन्वेजन ऑफ इराक द बीबीसी डॉक्यूमेंट्री ऑल्सो फीचर्स टेस्टमिनी ऑफ आर बी श्री कुमार जो करेंटली आम आदमी पार्टी के मेंबर है ही इज द सेम गाय हु अक्यूज इसरो साइंटिस्ट नाम बी नारायण फॉर सेलिंग सेंसिटिव इंफॉर्मेशन टू द पाकिस्तान So as I already have mentioned that this BBC documentary is full of propaganda against the current government but it is too weak to make any impact on Indian people so rather than wasting time in fake propaganda documentaries BBC should come up with documentaries on real issue of Indians for example they can make a documentary on the role of Winston Churchill to create Bengal famine that killed 3.8 million indians in one go or they can make a documentary on how they looted 45 trillion dollar from india or even better they can make a documentary to let the world know how they kill 16.5 crore people in just 40 years so what say it is a human right or is a general please, international please interest please don't try to preach us the human rights we know what the human rights are you britishers should not preach us the human rights when you look back over the last month You've been the leader of this state through a very difficult period. Do you think there's anything that you should have done differently? Yes. The one area where I was uh, very very weak and that was how to handle the media. BBC ne hamesha hi anti India stand hi liya hai. Chahe wo Balakot strike ho ya fir Kashmir issue. They always fabricated truth and manufactured lies to create the narrative against India. 2019 बालाकोट स्ट्राइक के बाद बीबीसी कॉरेस्पॉन्डेंट लाइन ऑफ कंट्रोल के आसपास रह रहे लोगों का ओपिनियन पोल लेने गए बट उन्होंने सिर्फ उनमें से दो लोगों का ही ओपिनियन अपने प्रोग्राम में दिखाया द फर्स्ट पर्सन सेड दैट इंडिया एंड पाकिस्तान हैज मेड कश्मीर देयर प्ले ग्राउंड और आम कश्मीरी सफर कर रहा है उसने ये भी बताया कि एयर स्ट्राइक फेक है क्योंकि पाकिस्तान ने ऑलरेडी ये बता दिया है The second person said that Modi's air strike is completely wrong as it is not going to resolve this conflict. Usne ye bhi bataya ki aam Kashmiri ka manna hai ki there is no tension between India and Pakistan. Ye to bas Modi ji ka stunt hai. Waise baad mein ye bhi pata chala ki BBC ne ek female ka bhi opinion liya tha. The woman herself revealed 
that a correspondent from BBC contacted her first on Twitter and then spoke to her twice on phone. पर बाद में उनके views को अपने program में air नहीं किया गया because she was pro Hindu and pro Modi. Article 370 के revocation के बाद 2019 में कश्मीर में protest हुआ and BBC claimed that bullets were fired on protesters. and they have exclusive video for it kashmir administration ne saaf kaha ki we didn't use even single bullet aur agar bbc ke paas video hai to wo as a evidence dikhaye aaj 3 saal ho gaye hain but bbc ne koi video evidence abhi tak nahi dikhaya 1993 jab kashmir conflict apne peak par tha to kuch atankwadi wahan ke famous shrine hazrat bal mein ghusaye इंडियन आर्मी ने हजरत बल की घेराबंदी करी और बाहर इंतजार करने लगे कि कब ये टेररिस्ट थक कर बाहर आएंगे इस बीच उन्होंने अंदर फंसे सिविलियन और टेररिस्ट दोनों को ही खाने का सामान भी पहुंचाया वाइल निगोसिएशन वेर गोइंग ऑन बट बीबीसी स्टार्टेड टेलीकास्टिंग अ रिपोर्ट सेंग इंडिया हैज स्टार्टेड अ ब्लू स्टार टाइप ऑफ रेड ऑन अ होली प्लेस जस्ट टू किल आर्म ऑक्यूपायर्स जस्ट इमेजिन what kind of communal right this could have triggered that day due to the misreporting of bbc and that is exactly what bbc wants to create disharmony to aggravate conflict so that india should always remain unstable socially economically and politically india has just became the fifth largest economy of the world under the strong leadership of narendra modi ji and according to the IMF and World Bank it will become the third largest economy in 2028 but if and only if we continue to have a strong leadership like Modi ji at the center now coming up to elections this seems to me to be a state in turmoil we're seeing repeated violence we're seeing people living in fear what has gone wrong with this breakdown in law and order here i think you have to correct your information first the state is very very peaceful So the Muslims who would say that they are still terrified, they are still frightened to go back to their homes. They still I'm feel not, that the people who murdered their relatives I, 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 have I, not been brought to justice. What would you say to them? I am not agree with your analysis. I am not agree with your information. This absolutely misguided information to you from where you have picked up this type of garbage. I do not know. Some people have been accusing your government of not doing enough to stop this, of not protecting Muslims even now. These are also false propaganda made by our opponents. and you are also a captive of this false propaganda